the mobile experience for Luganto has been redesigned for the new UI. It's been designed to take advantage of navigation features and behavior that users will be familiar with from other mobile interfaces. I'll walk you through a few things. First, you can see that the mobile experience defaults to the student view for all users, providing quick access to lists and items. Instructors and librarians will see a banner at the top of the screen, letting them know that they can use a computer if they need to edit the list. Students won't see this message. You can swipe up and down on the screen to move up and down, as you expect on a mobile device. There's a navigation menu if you need to access different parts of the system, such as your favorites, the settings, or the help. If you access this menu from a list, you'll also see the list suggestions. Clicking into a list, you can swipe up and down to scroll the list. You can toggle to see the section view, and then back to see the item view. The filters open the filtering from the bottom of the screen, similar to other mobile applications. Filtering to essential items, we can see that there's only one item on the list now. We'll remove the filter. We can also click on search to search within the list. I can tap on an item to open the full view, which includes the more detailed inventory as well as the option to mark a link as broken. I can swipe to go back to the previous screen. I can also click on the Actions button, and the actions for this item open from the bottom. And I can mark an item as done, so students can track their progress through the resources. The mobile experience provides a quick and easy way for users to view and access their reading lists and the items on their list.